It's then like Shamalamalamalan's old, and oh, sweet baby Jeebus, he's back at it again. But before we begin, I must confess, I've never actually watched an M. Night Shyamalan movie and not somehow enjoyed it. I mean, there is something about his goofy-ass plot lines that just get to me like a bad case of gonorrhea. Film, begin, and we're off on a road trip to Anime America Resort, where those kids are singing in the back. But that's really annoying mama who's like, can you failed condoms just knock it off for a minute? I can't hear myself think. Huh. <sighs> now, what was I thinking about? Oh yeah. What the hell was that film The Happening about? I mean, like, kid of plants with AIDS? Man, that director must have been smoking a big, fat, juicy one to come up with a plot line like that. But she hasn't got much more time to think, because they've already reached the resort, where complimentary slave labour greets them at the door. So they go inside and immediately give them drinks, and now they're going to their rooms, which is really nice and big with lots of open windows, so obviously the local neighbours can see the parents do the sex later. But hang on! Husband Man has just picked up a pamphlet that has a pharmaceutical logo on it. And that's really strange. Why would there be a pharmaceutical logo on that pad? Well, actually, it's not that strange considering everything's sponsored by Pfizer these days. So they go to the beach and it's really fun where Kid Person makes a new friend. And they're running around, you know, it's a really nice day out, you know, why not enjoy it? Which is actually a very important plot point later. Beach over and Husband Man is saying... Oh, I feel really bad because we need to tell our kids about that undisclosed medical problem you've got. Which is the reason that we went on holiday. And wife lady says, look, the doctor said it's actually a non-factor. You know, it's probably been here for years. You know, just don't worry about it. Which obviously means she has AIDS. So let's go to another beach where Tyrone is getting himself some white meat. Well, that was absolutely great. So let's go to breakfast where they're looking all utterly miserable. And Hostman is really trying to cheer up those sore asses by telling him about a really cool beach they can go to. But shut up right now, everyone. There's Netflix's Cleopatra, and she's having a fit. And then that convenient doctor man says, oh no, she looks utterly terrible, and then straight up flocks off. Well, that was a strange series of events, so it's time to go to the beach in a minivan, which is driven by M. Night Shyamalan himself, and is like, oh man, poor guy, you know? He's hit it pretty rough after, like, the consistent flops he keeps churning out. Anyway, transport over, and now they're off to the beach, which is obviously a green screen background. So they go through a cave, and now onto the beach, which has an obvious lack of Leonardo DiCaprio. And legit, the beach is a great film. They get pitching tents because, well, it's prime real estate here. But shut that front door! There's a black man, and daddy says, we should totally move away from him. It's just an FBI statistic waiting to happen. And that part pretty much actually happened in the film. Thanks M. Night Shyamalan for your current social commentary. It was very insightful. But his kid is like, wait, oh my balls, that's not any man. It's mid-sized Sudan, who's like meant to be a really famous rapper. And like, that's a, such a cool rap name. You know, you guys may not know this, but I go by energy efficient washing machine on my SoundCloud page. So they get enjoying the beach and here's some person who's just chilling in the water. But a bloody floater just touched him! Wait a minute, that's not any floater, it's that white chick from earlier who's now died to death. And all those guys are like, oh no, it's a dead body. D do we poke it with a stick or something? And well, 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 here comes Tyrone, he says, look guys, I totally didn't do that murder. But they're already thinking how they can report this to Fox News. So he tells them, I know what it looks like, but you've got to believe me guys, I didn't do that murder. So Dr. Man asks him, well, what happened then? And why is your nose bleeding? But Sudan Man doesn't know. She just went swimming and now she's dead. Hmm, must have been myocarditis. Dr. Man doesn't believe any of it, saying, I know you did that murder. Oh, you're basically OJ Simpson. But wait, there's some new people coming out of the caves. And holy ships, that's Miles from Lost. Remember, he was like a medium or something. And there's his wife, Cleopatra. You know, the one who was fitting earlier. What a coincidence that they're now all on the beach. And they're getting a bit confused asking, what the hell happened here? And Dr. Man says, it was Tyrone. He did that murder. But stop right there because wife just rolled up saying, quick, Dr. Husband Man, it's your mum. Oh my God, she's really old and she's acting a bit weird. You need to come right now. It's a medical emergency. So he goes to see her, and she seems to be doing okay, saying, Look, it's fine. I just feel a little bit weird. 
I hope it's not myocarditis, but you better look after these guys if I totally die though. While Mama comes up behind saying, Hey, you're a really cool racist doctor, right? Can you come help me please? My son is being all weird because he's going through some really strange sudden growth spurt. But he says, No, I'm really busy. And that's not cool. So Mama Bear asks him, What kind of doctor are you then? My son has problems, man. And he says, What, me? I'm a cardio surgeon and part-time racist. Besides, your kids look utterly fine. You're just overreacting, you damn freak. Wait a minute. Hold on, guys. Grandma just died out of nowhere. Well, that was really upsetting. So it's time to go to the kids who are asking Miles and Cleopatra, what are you guys doing for a living? And it turns out, Miles is a nurse and Cleopatra is a psychologist. Does that have any bearing on the plot? Of course it doesn't. But Miles does ask them, how old are you guys? And they say they're six. But Miles thinks they're lying because, like, they look way older than that. And here comes Pop saying, we need to get off the beach and go home. Wait, you guys look way older than now. How did that happen? It's only been an hour. Or oh, it's a real mysterious. How's Tyrone doing? Not well, actually. He's sick of all this white trash and goes, screw this, and starts walking into the caves to get out. And there's Dr. Man who's like, you ain't getting away that easy, and then gives chase. And oh crap, that's going to be on CNN later. But they just blacked out when they went into the caves, and now they're back on the beach, where everyone's like, oh no, I think we're in a bit of a pickle here, because that shouldn't really happen, shouldn't it? Those caves are making people go nap time. Dr. Man is bigly upset, and he pulls out a knife and starts committing a hate crime on mid-sized Sudan, saying, watch out everyone, he has a gun. But wait a darn minute, that cut to his face, it's like healed already. And that's amazing, because he should be bleeding all over the place. And Dr. Man says, I'm very freaked out. I've done many stabbings in my life, and they all die to death. So mid sized Dan tells them that the only reason that he's at this resort is because he's sick and wanted to get away for a while. And so was the chick who died, which is actually a major plot point. So this scene transmission where it's gathering time, and Cleopatra tells everyone, we need to talk about this. Insta mum, and you racist doctor, why are you guys here? And they say it's because they also have medical problems. What about Mama though? Well, she's suddenly feeling really woozy. Oh, and now she's collapsed on the floor and everyone's scared saying, we need to do the emergency surgery to get rid of that AIDS tumor. And hey, good job they have a doctor man there with a knife, so he straight up stabs her. But there's a bit of an issue though, because the wound just healed immediately. And remember, time is going really fast, so it like healed really quickly. And they need to think, how are we gonna get that tumor AIDS out? I know, let's use our dirty ass hands to hold open the wound. And duck me! That's a big ball of AIDS. It's like twice the size of her. So since she's all goodly again, how's mid-sized Sudan? Well, he's checking out that dead chick from earlier for some kind of reason. And he's like, oh my sweet, sweet balls. Hey everyone, come check this out. She's just bones now. And they're realizing something strange is going on because that's like years of decay in only like an hour. So Mama says, oh, I get it. Every half hour is like a year of time passing. And Miles from Lost concurs, saying, you're right. Our cells are aging really quickly. And when we try to leave, it's like trying to slow down time. So that's why we keep fainting. Which is an amazingly accurate guess. It's like, how did he know that? Maybe because the plot got to happen. But while that's going on, what's Sun Person doing? Or he's working on doing a sex with Dr. Man's daughter. And, well, that was actually quite quick. And it's time to go for a snack. Wait a minute. She's pregnant now. Oh my god, I guess daddy never taught him how to pull the car out of the garage. And they're really old here too, including daughter person, who's meant to be 16 in the film. But don't worry guys, she's actually 21 in real life. Anyway, she's going to give birth right now. And Insta Mum is really scared about it because that's her daughter. So she immediately just runs off. Well, daughter girl gets on her back ready to shit out a kid. Which they don't show on camera, so here's an artist's impression of what a kid looks like. Oh wait, never mind. Baby just died because it didn't get enough attention in the 10 seconds it was alive. Which is amazing! Because when little crap riding doesn't get enough attention, he just whinges instead of like, straight up dying. Oh, and he's one years old next week. Happy birthday, son! Kid person is really upset about that and is crying big time. And look, everyone else is crying. It's so sad. While the racist doctor is going mental because, well, he's now mental. 
Obviously, everyone's got problems on the beach. He's mental. It's later a mid-sized washing machine. is taking time out because he's been for a hell of a lot. And he's thinking, man, what was that film The Happening about? Tree Aids or something? And what the hell was Mark Wahlberg doing starring in it? But oh no, now he's getting hate crime by racist Doctor Man. And it's really sad with Miles from Lost saying, he's dead guys, he got unalived. Oh my god, I'm crying. But at least he can now drive a mid-sized sedan in heaven. So he's like, right, we just witnessed one hate crime. And I'm a freaking Asian. So that means I'm going to get hate crime too. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go find another beach by the ocean. Because it's a well-known fact that racists can't swim. While the other guys are now discussing possibly climbing the rocks since they can't go through the caves. But it's just too dangerous. That's like almost sheer. So they decide, let's just talk about why we're here. And it turns out, it's because they all have medical conditions, like a tumour, fitting problems, and also clinically diagnosed racism. Well, 21 year old, so it's not weird, is like, I can't believe my mama had tumour aids. I know what, I'm gonna go for a swim, and then starts choking herself. But fuck me! There's a dead Asian! Which means he got hate crimes by the sea. It's like, oh man, that's terrible. Let's flip to the son, who's now got 5 o'clock shadow, and has a mole on his face. Because he's burying his dead baby. But Instagram mum's daughter is like, Ah, oh, screw this. I know, there's too many dead kids. I'm gonna go climb those rocks. Because I'm sick of all this shit. And she's actually doing really well climbing that wall. You know, she's getting... Oh wait, sorry guys. She fell off, but she got a headache, and straight up dies. Anyway, Cleopatra is saying it like it is. We can't stay here, guys. We should definitely try to see again. But this time with pool noodles. And that's a great idea. Wait, hold on. She's now fitting and straight up dies. It's like, that's the worst possible timing. Because legit, that was straight up could have worked. Oh, and now daddy man suddenly can't see things. It's like all a blur. And for some kind of reason, mama is now deaf. It's like, oh, it's like came out of nowhere. But at least they can team up to be a crime busting duo like those guys did in that movie once. So what are they doing now? Well, Daddy is saying to Mama, I saw your text. You've been having a fair, you damn bitch. And she's like, yeah, I have. So sorry about that, bro. And he says, look, it's actually cool. Don't worry about it. Which is pretty much exactly what happened in The Happening when Slot Face was cheating on Mark Wahlberg with Joey. Well, that was great. So let's check in with Insta Mum, who's looking a bit like a gremlin because her back is hunched over due to a lack of medical calcium. She needs some milk. It's later and Blind Dad Man is chilling by the fire. But he can see something blurry coming and it's like, What the utter duck is that blurry thing coming my way? Hey wife person, what is that? Oh yeah, you're deaf. Hang on, it's the racist doctor saying, You're going to tell everyone I committed a hate crime. I can't have that. Not in this day and age, I'll get cancelled. Guess I'm going to have to kill you then. So get slashing and now Mama Bear is like, Ah! What's going on? It's so scary. I totally run away. We've got to go now because we've got to go to the caves where the two kids are just chilling out. Wait. Ah, oh, that was a rock being thrown at him. And look, it's Insta Mom who says, my daughter be dead. I big mad. So he throws another rock. But hold on. She has brittle bones because she never had her milk. So straight up snaps her arm. And now she's raging and rolling around on the floor becoming a retarded monster and then straight up dies. Back to the beach where daddy is getting sliced up big style and he's gonna die. Like really, really die. Wait, nope, sorry. Mama Bear jumps out of literally nowhere and slices his arm with her blade saying, That was a rusty knife there, bigot. So you've now got infected with rust aids. So he straight up dies of rust. That means... Only the family are left. And here's the kids, including 21 year old actress, so it's not weird. And they get chilling on the beach discussing the plotline of the happening. And you know, it's quite fun trying to determine why did Mark Wahlberg take that role? Like, did he even read the script? Who knows? And then Daddy straight up dies of old age. And then Mama dies too. And that leaves the kids utterly devastated because, well, they actually quite like those guys. Next daytime where the sun is shining, the sea is hate criming, and oh, a couple of old blokes on a beach. Wait, there's the guys from earlier, and hmm, I wonder how old that woman is now. But it doesn't matter because they haven't got long left until they die. And some person says, 
Should we try and like get out of this place again? And she says, sure. But not before making sandcastles where some person says, remember that kid from earlier at the resort? You know, the one I was like having fun with? Man, he even gave me a message to the code. She's like, what? What code? What does it say? Well, it says his uncle doesn't like the coral. And look, there's some crap CGI coral right there. It's like, oh, it's making so much sense now. If they swim to the coral, they can stop the aging. So it's swimming time into the coral where Daughter Lady gets stuck and it's really scary because neither of them had the bright idea of just taking off her gown. Oh my god, they deserve to die. What's happening outside? Well, it's a night Shamalamalaman with a camera. And he's just radioed in to head office saying, They're all dead, boss. I haven't seen those swimming guys for ages. Oh, they're definitely not alive anymore. Well, I'm going to come back now since our mission is complete. But what is the mission? Well, they do the pharmaceuticals. And what they did was select a bunch of ill people and then plowed them with experimental drugs. Then sent them to the beach where people age really quickly to see if the drugs worked. But hang on! Doesn't that sound familiar? No, you know, not the aging part, but the experimental drugs being plowed into mass populations. Hmm, I can't work it out. But well, that was great, so let's go to the resort where everyone is really happy enjoying themselves. Including Shaft, who's just been handing a mysterious note. Wait, that note is from those grown ass kids, who somehow managed to escape the coral. And that guy Shaft is actually also a cop, who then gets everyone arrested. Then they fly away in a helicopter. It's like, that was really convenient that the first person they walk up to was a police officer in the resort. I mean, what are the chances of that? Anyway, that's it. Film finished. What an amazing movie. But I just can't suspend my disbelief. What company would force people to take experimental drugs and then lie about it? Oh, that one's going to keep me up all night. The Subscribe button. It's always right.